Okay, <laughs> I know I haven't made a video in a very long time, especially a Gary's Mod video, but uh, I just thought I'd show you something that I just figured out the other day. Uh, this is basically just a much easier way to make your suspension on your car without having to use elastics. You know, car, you know, cars that use elastic suspension, and they're not bad. You know, that you can you can get some pretty bouncy suspension. Uh, the main problem with it, that I've found at least, is depending on the weight of the vehicle, stuff like that, uh, you have to, you know, your suspension might be too hard, too soft, then you have to change all these weights of your wheels, weights of your chassis, then you gotta, sometimes you gotta like go all out, you gotta remove the elastic, then you gotta change your constant, then you gotta re-add the elastic to all four wheels, and uh, it just takes forever. It's it's hard to set up sometimes, and sometimes you just can't figure it out. If you're really good at it, then that's good for you. But in my opinion, I think the way that I figured out how to do it might work just a little bit better for a quick little car. Uh, this does use constraint bending. I know sometimes that's kind of frowned upon. It is uh, welded suspension but it works a little bit different than the normal torsion bar suspension or uh, what have you. This car right here uses it. Basically what we got is we've got normal spindleless uh, style suspension on the bottom. We have, you know, two rigid ropes attached to wheels here. Uh, there is an elastic going across the middle, but that's just to keep it from doing this. See that literally all that it does it'll add a little bit more sprain but uh that's all that it does so that you don't screw up your wheels it'll push it apart and then what we've got is we've got a rigid rope going from this wheel up to this which this is our main spring here and then the harder you want your suspension or the softer you want your suspension you adjust the weight on this prop up here where is my weight tool? This is... Do I not have it? Because if that was the case... No, that's impossible. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um... I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, you guys are gonna have to pardon my language here for a second, but that was the biggest fucking bullshit I've ever seen in my whole life. So, I go and check out my workshop, right? And like... I mean, I noticed this before, but it's still, uh, apparently whoever uploaded the the weight tool, very important tool to people in Gary's Mod, I mean, it's not in here now, I mean, uh, apparently they were, like, banned or something, so it took the tool out of the workshop, and, I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys have this much trouble, but it's basically impossible to find specific things in the workshop, it's, like, the worst search feature ever. So, I, w I went to garysmod.org and tried to fix the weight stool on there, but that didn't work. Uh, for some reason, though, our server, uh, ACF Banana Bonanza Palooza, is, still has the weight tool, I guess, because, uh, you know, you usually download the tool. Uh, I, I don't, if you know anything about setting up servers, uh, the way that you actually get workshop items is a little bit different. So, luckily, this still has it. But if you look at the list for our server on the workshop, it is the same band tool. Uh, but that's just like the stupidest thing ever. I mean, I like the workshop. It's nice how easy it is to get add-ons, but I, I, <laughs> I couldn't find another weight tool because uh, the search, like literally, you type, you go into the thing, you type this, you type quotes, weight, doesn't come up with anything. You type, you just type weight like this. You type weight weight stool you go into tool it doesn't nothing comes up it just comes up with random crap it's like okay anyway that's <laughs> that's enough of a rant for now so let's let's keep going here okay so <sighs> I really should remake the video but I don't care okay so what we got is we got our wheels we've got our chassis these are connected via rigid rope like any spindleless suspension system then we've got uh, these up here, which are weighted blocks. That's pretty cool. 
And these, uh, these, these here, you know, you change the weight, and since weight changes constraint weight, then that makes it so these things bend just a little bit more if they weigh less. So if you want softer suspension, you make these plates weigh less. You want harder suspension, you make them weigh more. Because these are attached to them via rigid ropes. You don't have to mess with elastics, you don't have to undo anything. You literally just unfreeze, take out your weight tool, change the weight of these to get softer or harder suspension. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so uh, let me just uh, quick make a nice example of the suspension for you. Uh, that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about because that wasn't the best description because I was kind of pissed off there. I just was checking the weight of that base prop really quick just to make sure that I can get a nice legit weight out of this. So basically let's just uh, set up a quick sort of uh, little base for this. I'm not going to make a full car. I'm just going to make a... Uh, just make what I need to make here. Hopefully you can see this all right. I don't want to get bothered by someone in the server. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my props here. I don't know, I'm gonna pull them out by like 50. Yeah, it's a little far. Let's pull them out by about 25. Okay, nah. I really shouldn't want to make this perfect, but whatever. Okay, so we got our wheels pulled out there, then let's just take out our precision alignment tool quick and uh, wait a so what am I doing? Okay, and then let's just go ahead and mirror these across. Precision alignment really kind of, you know, <laughs> precision alignment really kind of changes the way things are done. It makes things quite a bit easier. <laughs> like, okay, I'm just going to quick fix this. Then let's go ahead and let's pull this middle section up a little bit just to give it what it needs. Okay, so now let's see how does this suspension work, right? So we got this main plate here. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to get out our rope tool. Let's just make that thickness about two, doesn't matter. Uh, rigid ropes, let's go ahead and grab the center of this wheel and go to the center of this plate. Yeah, don't wanna use that model. Let's go ahead and grab the center of this tool, or center of this wheel, excuse me, and the center of this plate. You know, if you're not following me, then uh, you should think about getting <laughs> think about getting a little bit more practice with Gary's mod. Okay, so we've got our wheels here attached to the plate, just by two rigid ropes, just pretty standard spindleless suspension, just like you see on pretty much any car nowadays. You don't gotta attach the wheels to anything. You've got frictionless. And we're done with the ropes. Okay. Uh, now the server is trying to lag out on me, which kind of pisses me off just a little bit, but we'll see here. Okay, good. The server did not lag out. <laughs> My server is not amazingly high quality. It's just a server we run in our homes. That That's, that's kind of weird. Did you see how that rope didn't attach there? That was very strange. Oh my god. Hello, server. This is going to be one of the worst videos I've ever made. Oh my god. How much you want to bet my friend turn the server off? Oh my god. Come on. Sir Daubers, what are you doing to me, man? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. It's done. It's done. Okay, so now let's... Now that we got these attached by rigid ropes, now obviously we have to do a advanced ball socket just to keep it going, you know, otherwise our wheels will just fall over. This is, you know, if you've ever done any kind of spindleless elastic suspension, you should understand all this by now. And if you don't, uh, you should try to find a tutorial on how to do that first. Okay, so, you know, x-axis is the axis going this way when your car is facing north. And then, obviously, we want it to turn about that axis, so wheels turn 180 degrees, negative, positive. Y and Z hold the wheels straight. So, I'm just going to go ahead and attach both of these to the center, like you usually would, with any sort of...
spindleless suspension. Then we're going to go ahead and go back to our plates and grab our, I guess they're, I'm kind of struggling with what to call this kind of suspension. It is welded suspension, so I'll just call them like my anchor plates, how about? So we're going to go ahead and attach these. Uh, another good thing about this is, unlike elastic suspension, you could get pretty much as much give as you want, and the plate doesn't have to be super far away. Uh, sometimes with elastic suspension, you have to put your plate that the elastic attaches to quite high to make sure that the wheels don't uh, get past it and flip up above the car. Since this is welded suspension, uh, the compression isn't going to have that issue so much. So let's move this plate up about 20. Like, uh, you know, we don't need to be too far. Eh, 20, 25. Let's try 25. Just, I don't want to screw it up in the video. That would be pretty embarrassing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our weld tool. We're going to weld these plates to the base prop. Then uh, we're going to take back out our rope tool. And usually you'd make these ropes invisible. So then you could make these plates invisible later just for looks, but for now it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and attach rigid ropes to pretty much anywhere on the plate that you want to. It shouldn't really matter. I mean, you're going to want to attach them to the same side. I mean, the same place on the sides as the other wheels, but that's really all i got to worry about. Okay, so this is basically the system. Let's make it look a little bit better than that. So basically, this is the system that I'm talking about. It's already set up. Now you just gotta tweak it, tweak the weights to what you want. See, let's go ahead and take a dupe of this. Paste, drop. So you've got a nice hard suspension here, right? So we we'll wanna soften up that suspension so we can get a little bit better performance. Each of these plates weighs 24 versus 100. Look at this, these, this thing weighs 800, bunch of weights. These things weigh 10. So we wanna cut this weight quite a bit if we wanna soften up that suspension. So let's make it about six. Now let's see what happens. Now it's way softer. See, look at that. If we were doing this with elastics, we'd have to take out our elastic tool. We'd have to undo the elastic, go into here, We'd have to mess with our cons constants, our dampening, which no one even knows what that stuff means, really. I mean, <laughs> I, I sure don't. I mean, I know as much as I ought to. And then, But this, you know, you're just like, my suspension's too soft. Let's make the weight 10. You know, it allows you to have different weights between the front and the back with far less work. And I, I just really like that. I think I'm going to use this on most of my cars from here on out and then uh, if you want to make sure that you don't uh, get any kind of a major issue because always with suspension you run the risk of your wheels flipping over you know like a wheel ends up over here ends up on top of the car just go ahead and attach an elastic between the wheels make it a weaker elastic though see I've got a constant of 2000 dampening of 500 that's good enough that'll hold it in place see we've got our uh, it's pretty hard suspension so let's go ahead and reduce the weight of these plates to 10 now if we flip the wheels down you know it's <laughs> ideally our wheelbase you know uh, I mean the width of the car would be far less but the elastic will help it survive a little bit more so it's not going to flip under the car you know, you know I'll let you figure that out on your own either way I think this is pretty nice suspension let's go ahead and see a performance test of this stuff So you got you got a nice amount of give on this stuff. Oh we <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Let's see if we can make it. This car isn't super good at this, but let's see if we can drive over the runway without flipping. Whoa, yeah. Little bit hard suspension there, but it's so easy to adjust. Who cares?
<laughs> I just make this stuff to have fun with it on my own. Anyway, that was pretty cool. Congratulations on finishing the crappiest tutorial video ever.